Ein herzliches Hallo, hier bin ich wieder zurück mit The Walking Dead, Staffel 2. Tja, diese Dosen, das hat was zu bedeuten, das erfahren wir noch. Ich gucke mich erstmal hier um. Cousin Jared's Concert, Oktober 13. 1998. Tja, sowas wird es leider nie wieder geben, irgendwelche CDs. Kann ich irgendwie umschalten oder so? Naja. Gewöhnungssache. Aber besser als nichts. Ich meine, ähm, in so einer Welt hört man ja sicher überhaupt nichts mehr an Musik. Da wird man über jedes äh, froh sein, was man hört. Da, da, da. Clem, we could use some help. Hey Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. <laughs> Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Irgendwie, ähm, ich glaube, man hört bei ihren Akzent raus. Ist ja logisch. Sie ist ja, glaube ich, Spanierin. So, wir gehen mal. Oder können wir uns hier unten noch was ansehen? Eine Karte? Ja. Schon gemütlich, so ein Kamin. What a funny little guy. Ja, eine Ente, da denkt man sofort gleich wieder an Duck. So, wir gehen erstmal nach oben. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? <lacht> Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's the loud man. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Ach, die kann einem echt leid tun. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? See? That food smells good, huh? For an ekelhaft, um Gottes Willen. She's gonna be a runner. Es 
it's not his. Hmm. Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. <laughs> I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. Da Sarah gesagt hat, also ich bin eher für den Stern, aber Sarah hat, wünscht sich ja einen Engel, deswegen nehmen wir auch mal den Engel. Als Spitze. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. <laughs> yeah, it's ja was no, schönes. Now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. I haven't noticed. Oh, w well, let me know if you do. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Ooh. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. <laughs> Toll. Jetzt muss er sich auch noch entscheiden. Aber da wir äh, wirklich äh, Kenny näher stehen und ihn lange nicht gesehen haben, setze ich mich lieber zu Kenny. Here you go, Clem. Obwohl so, ich Luke auch we sehr mag. Talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I'm tired of running. Of course you are. You don't have to run no more, darling. <laughs> darling. Die Hintergrundmusik ist, glaube ich, Walzer oder irgend sowas. Hey ich kenne mich hey. da ja nicht so aus. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, 
What was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your <laughs> deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> mm. Duck? Who's duck? Penny. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Tja, da kommt man wohl niemals drüber hinweg, wenn man ein Kind verloren hat. Kann ich absolut verstehen. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. There's own Ordnung. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two uh. of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have Der plenty Blick. of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. Hmm. In any yeah, case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you can tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. <laughs> I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Mm-hmm. Miss? No, I can't see. Was 400 days? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank yeah, it's you. Really, so. But that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back.
Der ist wirklich einfach zu gut. I have a little girl <lacht> like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Ja, Clem ist schon sehr erwachsen, muss man wirklich sagen. Für ihr Alter, aber das macht Here ja auch are, diese Miss. Welt. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Ich kann, ich kann Kenny auch verstehen, dass er damit nicht so ganz einverstanden ist. 